is Hilda. Mrs. Minerva sent me to help you. friend. I'm sorry. I was... Oh no. Look what they've done to me. <laughs> Lady Marissa, don't worry. You'll be fine. But the thing that Minerva wants, it's been taken by the cultists. It's in the amphitheater. Is it important? My mission is to take you back to the shelter. It's my father's research. It contains critical information that Minerva wants. She says it can help the entire city. Well, this mission's turning out to be more difficult than I expected. <laughs> Great. You were going in there? It's impossible. It's... it's Eulalia's territory. The amphitheater, right? I don't really have a choice. Can you make it to your feet? You're... you're so strong. Take the Starite. Once you use it, the Adherence Guard Captain will come get you. Will you come back after you get my father's research? Back to the shelter? Yes, I will. Thank you. May the three bless you.
Provisions go in and out through the military gate? The Ephesians must have tight control over food distribution.
reach here.
said the cultists took her documents. I'll take a look backstage. a good place to hide important documents. I don't want to ransack the place, but I don't have much choice. these documents belongs to House Rosa. They must be the documents Marissa wants to give to Minerva. They've been helpful this time. Ethres, a word once spurned by the masses, has become a word that symbolizes salvation for them. In a world of chaos, a slogan, preposterous and impossible, has caught on. False hopes continue to seduce the hearts of people living in fear. The songstresses and harpies soar through the sky, singing in exultation. 
world below, the souls of those who died a wrongful death increase with each passing day. I should bring this back to Minerva first. So you killed Barad and incited quite the commotion. Truly. You do have an outsider's style. His survival wouldn't have benefited Aphis. The people of the Black Streets were suffering. He's not someone who deserved to live. You think killing him will help the Black Streets? <laughs> what a crude and barbaric way of thinking. Oh, if you'd received Aphis's Aristoi education, you would have learned not to be so impulsive. Oh, then what would you have done? Barad was one of the few in the Warax who cared about the balance of interests, not just a cruel, bloodthirsty savage. Letting the Warax have a place like the Black Streets is harmless. What we should be doing is expanding our reach to other places, not creating unnecessary chaos. Hmm. <laughs> if you want to fight for justice, I'd suggest you first learn more about this city. You do not yet possess the knowledge required for such a crusade. What can I do for you?
This is the information Marissa wanted to give you. You went out of your way to fetch it? Marissa said it's really important to you. Don't look like that. Just pretend it was me being nosy. Well, thank you. You did well. Thanks to your help, Marissa is in the shelter. She looks to be doing well, and her emotions have stabilized. I'll take good care of her. Oh, that's good. And here is the reward we agreed on. Thanks. Don't forget our agreement. If you want the remaining Echoes, then continue completing the other missions. Is that it? Of course. What else do you want? Nope. Nothing. Hilda? Time is of the essence. much better now. At the very least, I won't have to worry about starving for the time being, and there are no signs of bloodlust. I guess I wasn't born with such madness in my blood, but what I really want to know is whether or not I can still play the lyre. I brought one back. Would you like to try playing it? Oh, this is... I truly didn't expect you would bring it to me. It's the lyre I gave to you, Lelia. What about her? How is she? You, uh, don't want to know the details, but she always kept this liar with her. So cruel they are, the gods of stars. Are you sad? Oh, these are tears of joy. Maybe. I don't know. Why don't I feel satisfied even though I finally won? Should I have not brought the liar back? No. I know exactly what melody I should play. I need to calm myself with music. What do you think? Come to chat when you have time.
too. It must be Papa. He was scratched out in a hurry. Just like the last one. Was he being chased? Papa, why did you come here? What are you doing in Naples? I'm so glad you survived. I have nothing to say to you. W -w wait what what do you mean, friend? Are you mad at me because I didn't stop you from killing Barad? Stop me? You encouraged me to kill him. Don't speak such nonsense, friend. I just said that killing him was one choice. I didn't say you had to kill him. If the way I said it made you misunderstand, then I'm willing to apologize, but uh, please, believe me when I say I didn't plan to hurt you. You? <sighs> Forget it. It's my fault I got tricked by your words. But friend, friend, uh, there's one more thing you must help me with. Please, uh, don't ignore me, friend. This is a matter of life and death for me. Life and death? <laughs> As if I should believe anything you say. <sighs> I'll need to think about it. It's true, and there's a nice reward in it for you, if you can help me. I'll consider it. You're talking about the things in this bag, aren't you? You really do know everything, Fred. Yes, that's precisely it. Uh, however... Is this not yours? Huh? Uh, no, no, no. What I mean is, yes, this is what I dropped. But there's less of it than I remember. Hmm, what a pity. But it is yours, right? I think so. I have far too many treasures on my hands. Even I can't remember them all. <laughs> what I mean is, I lost more than just this when I was running. But this should do. It may have been but a pittance in Barad's eyes, but to me, it's the key to living to see another day. Is that so? All right, I believe you. Ah, oh, my adorable, noble friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> come, come, friend. Please, accept this as a humble token of my appreciation. If you see anything you like, friend, just let me know. I'll give you a discount. Anyway, don't go causing trouble in the shelter. Thank you for your concern, friend. Now then, let's talk business. Just let me prepare a moment.
look forward to your next visit, friend. Ice Enchantite should be able to help me finish the magic fire ahead. of a campfire and markings nearby hmm this must have been left by the Northwind Legion that marking means 14 
been searching in vain, and yet here we are. One of Harold's missing soldiers. Are you the one emitting the magical wave? I am. And I see from your garb that you're from the Northwind Legion. Hurry on to the fifth rally point. Harold's waiting there. Wait. No. I don't remember there being a young girl in the Northwind Legion. Who are you? I am Hilda of Anbari, a warrior of the Northwind Legion. On the King of Anbari's orders, I'm here to look for the missing Northwind Legion commander. They sent a child. That is most surprising. I'm not a child. And you haven't told me your name. Oh? I'm a partner of the Northwind Legion, and I am protecting them from succumbing to the curse. You may call me Eumenides. <gasps> Eumenides? So, you've heard of me. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I find Commander Harold. Please tell me where he is. I'll consider it after they complete my mission. Now, please leave. You're not the person I'm looking for. Wait, why would they ignore the King's orders and accept your request? Let me meet with the Commander. I must verify this with him personally. Oh? I admire your courage, child. But I thought I'd made myself very clear. You're working with Minerva. Your necklace has the aura of her magic. She gave it to you for protection, didn't she? That's why you could sense the signal I was sending out. And also why you're unaffected by the curse. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no use pretending in front of me. Tell Minerva to mind her own business. Otherwise, you'll never see Harold again. What are you up to? Did you threaten the Northwind Legion into working with you? You're more annoying than I expected. I do not like this feeling, to tell you the truth. Consider my suggestion, child. I will not be as polite the next time we meet. I said I'm not... Hey! Wait! Damn it! The Legion's definitely acting on his orders. What the hell's he up to? And how does he appear and disappear like that? Minerva... Uh, I should probably tell her about this.
doing here? I knew you'd be here. The transfer order came. They chose you as the messenger. No, they are too cowardly to even let you know. But I bet you're as vulnerable as they think. I see. And you come to mock me. Damn you, Andres. You are the most despicable mercenary I've ever known. I curse you to the three for your ruthlessness. You waste your breath. Like the three give a damn about a lowlife like me. Maybe instead of cataloging my faults, you should reflect on your own mistakes. That way maybe your comrades' deaths won't have been in vain. If you had listened to me back then, you could have avoided all this. Listen to you? And what? Use my soldiers as bait? You disgust me! Hmm. You speak as if their deaths now were somehow better. The casualties were far worse by your decisions. And the battle was lost. But I don't need to prove my point. Your demotion is evidence enough. Enough! You are without honor. One day you will die filled with agony over what you cherish. You will pay for what you have done. I swear. Looks like someone's hurt. Wait, it's... Otto! Hilda! What are you doing here? Otto! Oh, you're hurt. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not important, though. It's great to see you here. More importantly, why are you here? Let me stop the bleeding first. Then we can talk. We lost contact with you for so long. It's why I spent so much effort getting approval for my mission to come to Aphis and check on the status of Operation Ashwind. Yeah, the Legion should have returned ages ago, but the situation was more troublesome than we expected. Then I can help. Where are the others? We split up. I need to find a way back to the Commander now. Were you the only one to go off on a solo operation? Um, uh, um... Tell me, Otto. What happened? Nothing! I'm telling the truth! Alright, something doesn't add up. Hey, Hilda. What have you all been doing since you arrived in Aphis? To achieve the Operation Ashwind objective, we were forced to negotiate with an Ephesian. He kept requesting that we go to dangerous locations to collect strange magical items or to install magical devices. You're talking about Eumenides, right? By the winds. You know him too? I met him not too long ago. He was looking for you. 
Is he someone we can trust? <laughs> I trust him about as far as I can throw him. He doesn't care about what we think, let alone if we live or die. Hoping that someone like him will selflessly come to our rescue is like trying to grasp the wind. Wishful thinking. Are you at least on track to achieve the original objective? That's the problem. It all depends on Eumenides' progress. Or so he says, at least. So what's your plan now? I need to return to base and meet up with the others, but... That's great! I'll go with you. Where are you supposed to meet? You're coming too? With your help, we'll definitely make it to the rally point. We're supposed to retreat to the conduit inside Fallon Academy's armory. Why such a dangerous place? We all have these magic marks that allow us to resonate with the conduits and teleport between them. Teleport? Is that also because of Eumenides' magic? Yeah. Uh, we needed to go deep into Fallon Academy for this mission. That's why we decided on the conduit inside the armory as the rally point. To think that teleportation magic exists. Aphis really is full of surprises. But I'm not sure if you can teleport with us. We'll just have to give it a try. I saw Hathor and Gunnarsson's graves. How did they die? Oh, by the city gate? They lost their lives during the previous mission. We were surrounded by an army led by one of the Aphis Archons. It was hell. I could feel their courage as they handed me their belongings. So... you became there? Yes. Well, may the wind take their souls. May the wind take their souls. Hey, I found this dagger. Is it yours? How'd you find that? I dropped it while fighting a terrifying giant crocodile. Oh, I killed it. And then it dropped this dagger when it turned to stardust. You really are something. We had a fierce fight against it not long ago, but it managed to escape. Well, it was already badly injured when I fought it. I really only had to deal the last blow. Either way, it's great that you managed to find this dagger. Otherwise, I'd be letting Hermit down. Do you still carry his ocarina with you? Always. There's no time to waste. Let's move out. All right. But the Aphis Legions activated the magic ballista, so we have to think of a way to deactivate them first. I know where the control switches are located. I spent a few days reconning the area. Let's divide up the batteries. I'll take... No, you're injured. Let me handle everything. What? But I'm not sure... Knock it off. I said I'd help. Tell me, where are the control switches? All right. The control switch for Ballista Area 1 is located in the building to the right of the entrance to the military campus. After that, you need to pass through the building to the left of the entrance to the military campus and continue across a bridge to get to the second floor of the armory. Let's meet up there. Are you sure you'll be all right? When have I ever given you reason to worry? I always did better than you in the Northwind Trials. <laughs> If results alone were enough to convince people of your skill, the commander wouldn't treat you the way he does. Hey! <sighs> Forget it. You clearly injured your head, too. Thanks. Hey. May the wind watch over you. 